Hello guys, hope you're well. In this video I'll show you how you can easily and quickly build a very cheap but effective motorcycle telemetry system uh, that will provide you with the information about your front rear tire pressures as well as the front rear tire temperature including the front rotor temperature as well and as a bonus if you've got a heart rate monitor that signals the information through Bluetooth low energy, you can collect that data as well. So before we move on to the displays, uh, let's look at the hardware, the components that the solution consists of. So the pressure of each of the tire is being collected by TPMS, which is a very cheap $20 Chinese sensor front and rear uh, to measure the rotor and tires temperatures we're using MLX infrared sensors which feed real-time information and same goes to the back of the tire as you can see there is a wiring harness so each sensor feeds all the information all the data to the back of the motorcycle and underneath that rear tail section we've got ESP32 microcontroller with the uh, battery we've got the wiring exposing the connectors in case we wanted to connect the computer to reprogram that microcontroller although we can use over the air update as well which wouldn't require even connecting your laptop but if you want to recharge the battery you can use that wire all right so uh, this is the hardware setup the cost the total cost of all those components is around 50 60 dollars and let's now move on to the user display so uh, I'm displaying all the information using gouges and charts so here are the gouges so we've got ambient temperature rotor tires temperatures tire pressures front and rear as well as my heart rate uh, which is also working at the moment we've also have a timer so we can see how frequently that information is being updated i'll explain how it works in a moment and we also have information how frequently the tire pressure uh, signals are being received from those sensors because these sensors communicate every 180 seconds or so if the tires are moving um, apart from these gouges we also have charts so we can actually collect series of data points and display them in the form of live charts as well as more aggregated information over time which is really nice because for example if you're riding on a truck you'd like to see how the pressure and tire temperature changes over the course of your track time session so this is nice and the best thing is all this dashboard can be built without writing a single line of a code i'm using a blink app i'm not affiliated with uh, this app so i'm not promoting it but it's a free version that you can easily use to set up your telemetry system so you don't need to worry about your own display you don't need to worry about programming your user interface you can use already existing components this is really nice so apart from that user interface provided by Blink application. I've also built a simple HUD which uses a LED stripe. So we've got four LEDs, each for different type of telemetry input. So the first starting from the left shows the front rotor. Then we've got tire temperatures, tire pressure, and the last one is my heartbeat. And as you can see, there are different colors. So the blue ones means uh, the road is cold. And then the colors change to orange, red, and so on to indicate that there's something wrong. And same goes with the tire pressures and tire temperatures. Um, 
I've set up different thresholds to indicate whether I'm within the correct range or not. So as you can see, uh, the last green uh, LED indicates that my heart rate is okay. So I'm within the range up to 120 heartbeats uh, per minute, which is green zone. And then if it goes higher, then it will get orange and red. And one before the last LED indicates that we're in the okay range of tire pressures because that's how I programmed it. Um, so how does it all work? Uh, how do we get that data through the Blink application? Basically, in my phone, I set up a mobile hotspot so every phone can provide it or you can install an application for it. And then ESP32 microcontroller located here connects, establishes a Wi-Fi connection to that hotspot, meaning it can connect to the cloud and push all that data, telemetry data, collected roughly every second to the cloud. And then this mobile app receives all that data from the cloud and updates the user interface. Apart from that, we can also have a terminal through which we can um, connect and send the messages to the microcontroller as well. If I wanted, I could use a paid version of a Blink application and have knobs and controls, for example, to set different temperature thresholds. But in here we can also use uh, the terminals to send the information uh, without paying a dollar for that application. So overall, that solution looks really nice. Um, the amount of code to collect all that data and push to the cloud using using Blink app is below 1000 lines. It took me roughly two days to set it all up. So a very quick build, uh, not very stressful, but the results are really nice. So um, once the weather gets better, I'll go out, I'll test the overall solution. And uh, if you'll be interested, I'll give you more feedback on it. Guys, this is the post-production extended episode. I just thought that I'll show you how you boot up the whole system and how the terminal works. So uh, this is the switch to initiate it. Once we initiate the whole telemetry system, it boots up, it updates the sensors. As I said before, we've got all the data fetched in real time except the tire pressures because they get updated every 180 seconds and the nice thing is here we've got the uh, terminal output so this is what has been sent from the microcontroller and if we want to send any information or reconfigure our own solution then we can send messages right now uh, I'll just send anything uh, to show you that we communicated with ESP microcontroller and it just responded that this feature is not programmed yet so it's on my side I'll have to uh, program all the configuration parameters I would be interested in modifying uh, at runtime through the terminal alternative option is to pay for a blink and get a premium a version and then use more advanced uh, user controls and just to show you how you can easily attach other components this is the set of all the components and some of them have uh, upgrade uh, buttons which means you need to upgrade to a better version but you've got multitude of components that you can use to build your own user interface so really neat solution at least for that purpose right see you later bye